ladies and gentlemen. Dun, dun. Uh, it is time for some Jurassic World Evolution 2. I wanted to thank Guest Universal, along with everyone else, who gave me a free copy of this game. <laughs> biased in any way, shape, or form, but in all seriousness, uh, I did get a free copy from the developer, and I wanted to thank you for that through Key Mailer. This is a series I've not played. Now, my wife played the first one, and I got to watch her play it a little bit, and it looked like fun. Um, this is, once again, made by the people that make Planet Zoo, which is a great game that I absolutely love. So far, what I've played um, with Jurassic World Evolution 2, uh, I, I did a stream last night, had some issues with our recording in OBS. For some reason, this game does not play well with OBS at all. So I've had to come back today and redo some of this. Um, I'm actually 57% through the campaign. Oh, wow. Short. Uh, there's a challenge mode where you race against the clock to build a five-star park. Sandbox mode, you build your ultimate. This is what I always end up playing in Planet Zoo. Um, so you start with a nothing and you start working your way to build a giant Jurassic World Park. Um, Chaos Theory allows players to revisit pivotal moments in the movie and kind of like see how they would handle it on their own. The campaign is a lot of fun though, so I'm going to do a little bit of campaign on this video and then uh, we'll go ahead and, you know, we'll let you guys decide um, if you like it or not. But I think so far I've been pretty excited and enthused about this game. So let's go ahead and start a campaign. That's okay. Start a new game. Here we go. Jurassic World. There's a lot of... This... This is where our story begins. Yeah. Scientific a lot of story. Any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time, we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos something much worse. Yes, people got eaten. That's and what for happened. For a moment, we remembered how precious life is. Time life is precious. Has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. Yes. And ambition. Money. Ambition is a persistent thing. <sighs> so we're going to get interrupted a lot. is left behind. Time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Harry Potter was involved too. Oh, never mind. Reflect on the true nature of nature. Even Hogwarts experienced the endless cycle with one goal: survival. Eat the server. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. So we get to play as a search and rescue team, and we also get to build some park stuff and put things together. They're going to teach us to do a couple of things. I played this already, so we should be able to do it kind of fast, but then again, I forget how to do things often. So, um, But yeah, so far I really like this game. It's pretty cool. I love the fact that we're starting off in the United States to with us, dinosaurs all over. The desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Yes, but it was tropical forest Given back then. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, <laughs> dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. Actually, that's not what The current mean. situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge. Well, those Ooh. who think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. It wasn't necessarily a desert my or dinosaurs before, or But maybe this time with you... Fun idea, though. It's be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. So we have to work with these people that are about to show up in the upper right-hand corner. We have the girl from Jurassic World. And okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I don't remember I'm this guy. I'm Habit Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, very... because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. Right. I'll make this easy. Sure. You work for me. Yep. See, nothing to it. Nope, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts, 
This I am the expert. Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience. So you remember Claire dinosaurs. from the movie. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Yeah. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And what's and his name? Uh, Chris, we Chris Pratt. <laughs> destruction. This guy's... I, and this is Owen. He works with philosophy. This guy tries so hard to sound like Chris you Pratt. You call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things <sighs> in place. The and voice acting is not great on this. Start with <laughs> a response facility. Equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4. And a Capture Team helicopter. So we need to build a Ranger facility. Super easy to do. We can put it right here. Bloop, because they're going to make us put it there. We also need to build a path to the Ranger facility. We are making excellent progress. Oh, we need to have power. Yeah. So let's stay focused. Electricity. Step, building a backup generator. Then feeding the energy it creates we did. to the response facility. Yep, we're done. And also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does as good if it's operational. It's operational. So one of the things that you got to figure out with this game, if the dinosaurs are happy in their environment, they will not eat the, the, the visitors. If they start to become unhappy, that's when the visitors get to become dinner. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground. No, we won't. And even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can track it from the yep. air. Yep, you get to drive helicopters and jeeps. That's like pretty cool. All mouse and keyboard controls, unless you're on console, then I'm not sure. But I don't mind doing the mouse and keyboard. Look how hard it was to find it, because it's not marked on the map or anything. Man, tough stuff. And now we get to trank it. Hello, little dinosaur. This part's not the easy part. I'm going to get a little closer. Can you pull closer, please? He's growling at us. Hold still. <laughs> they're hard to hit when they're moving, that's for sure. Boop! Uh, and he's going to go down. He's sedated. So successful. He hasn't gone down yet, though. Oh, bonk. Okay. Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Got to transport successful. him. I knew you'd do it. And we Never show where we want to go. Gotta really? figure out where the base is. Well, there we go. Maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Here comes our transport where chopper. We take this dinosaur. We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Transport dinosaur hey, has uh, arrived. You don't have to answer that. I meant dinosaur transport, but whatever. You knew what I meant. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge. Sure, and kids are going to school. They get eaten by an archaeotrist. You know, it's it's different. You know, less people, more dinosaurs. Got to worry about the environment, though, because they fart, and it's like, shoot, it's like destroying the ozone layer. Less people, though, so we're good. All right, uh, and we're going to go ahead, and while we're doing that, there's a couple things I know that we're going to need, so will they let us do it? For the pen, we're going to need to have a ranger post. We'll put that by here. There we go. We also need, we're going to, and I'm going to assign this, the uh, Jeep. I love the fact that we can do this during the tutorial. I'm going to add a task. These guys are going to be, that's their job, is to check the rain, the dinosaur out. I also need, he's, he's going to need food. If you have a Piscivor, which is what this is, they need food. So you're going to drop that there. And the guy also, from just playing the game, I know that, he prefers to have some rocks. So we're going to put some big... There we go. That should make him happy. Your happy dinosaurs, once again, are safe dinosaurs. All right, so he needs a status check. So what we do is we're going to hop into the Jeep. We're going to take direct, di direct control. Oh, she's telling. She's going to talk. I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. Yep. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. I don't know that I would want to, but <laughs> requires a status check. There's yep. not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, 
so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. I did Hungry already. dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Okay, so back to the Jeep. Let's go ahead and drive. And all we have to do is get close Ready to, to go it. On this end. Happy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a Ranger Team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. He's not a happy then animal, I'll tell you that much. Move. You really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Now, he will attack the Jeep, so... If this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. He's still missing rocks. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend? Run! Okay, yeah, okay we'll leave. Prefer terrain to their pets instead. Better? Okay. And we're going to leave the Jeep now. And I'm going to go ahead and place some rocks. It says we need to place another rock, so... Let's see if he's happy now. Are you happy, dinosaur? He's content. 98% content. So we have made the dinosaur happy. That's what we needed. What's the matter, Alfie? Hi, puppy. He's got lots of food, lots of water. Stamina. We're doing good. No ailments detected, but since we don't really know dinosaurs, we don't know ailments. Um, we do need a research facility. I don't know they're going to make a do in this one, but... I always do it anyway, so. We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. We did that already. setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. That's not what I wanted. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. Angry dinosaurs? Missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Hungry dinosaurs. They sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. And then one. have a transport team bring it back to the facility. They want right. multiple dinosaurs, by the way, not just one. So don't listen to them. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to create another enclosure because, obviously, we're bringing back more dinosaurs. And so um, they, they're going to need life space. All dinosaurs need water, so you might as well put water into the pen when you start. I don't know what kind of terrain. I don't remember the terrain that they need, but you definitely need water. So we're going to add some lakes. That might be too much, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. That should be good. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab our chopper. Standing by, direct control. We're going to take off. Now, you can task your pilots to do the stuff for you by finding the dinosaurs and just aiming at them, and it'll they'll do it under... Oh, these guys. They're getting attacked by the dinosaur. Oh, they knocked the doors off. Why were they over there? <laughs> Why would you go over by the dinosaur? Dummies. Serves you right. That costs money, by the way. We have to fix that. So, All right. So it's coming on over here. There's the dinos. We've got some triceratops very, looking very angry. Angry triceratops. Until he calms down. And we've got to get the last one here. This guy's rolling around having fun. Reload. Should be good. Awesome. Get those guys out of here. And we're going to take these 
Alors, le 3 dinosaures. Uh, we need to transport these guys. That is here. Transport him. And we have to do each one separately. This is not great, but... Okay. Acknowledging here. asset collection request. Collect him. Bring him back here. Picking up asset. And here, this guy. And we're going to bring him back over here. Asset collection request. Something about this reminds me of Dune. Like the... They had those ships that would bring in the uh, the, s s the sand collectors. Those are pretty cool things. Dune. Arrakis. Desert planet. The new Dune is out, by the way. Did I just hear another dinosaur making a noise? Asset in transit. Asset in transit. Okay, while that's going on here, just so you know, there's things that you have to take care of at the base. Um, these guys, let's see, they have fuel. They're okay. Let's go ahead and refill some of that. We don't do the whole thing. We'll do 25 and 25. Good. Um, and then uh, here, we're going to resupply this. With, we're going to fill it up. 300000 I know it's expensive, but you need fuel. Got to keep the base running. We could close the park. Nope. There we go. So our dinos are going to go be dropped off here. What we need is we need to have a gate. Transportation complete. That works. And I'm going to take my rangers and I'm going to add a task. Their job is to do that, and then I'm going to also come down here and take direct control. You're not going in there right now. We need to go see these dinos. Yes, we've already done all that because I'm smart. I would never put dinosaurs together without knowing because they would fight. I mean, <laughs> duh. Operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. Ground fiber. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well right. as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. All right. So we're going to put this in right there. That looks good. Yes, we're going to have to pick up, make a path to access it. I know. She's going to tell us in a minute here. Be sure to include a path so that they can access the blah, blah, blah. There we go. Uh, all right, so the dinosaurs need ground fiber. So we're going to take a look here and th let's see, ground leaf. This is, I think, fiber. Ground leaf, nope. Ground fiber. Let's see how they're doing now. Content. Content. Direct control. Let's get a nice big picture of the Triceratops. tops. Very good composition, huh? Okay, all right, we're leaving. We're leaving. With so many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built, and we'll take it from there. Eating much better. Look at that. Ah ha ha! Fifty thousand. Got a better lighting and stuff. Sweet. What does she want us to do? Oh, an operational expedition center. Okay, we'll do that in a second. I'll get one more photo of this dinosaur here. We need a better photo of the angry dino. Oh, for some reason, he needs to be viewed again, I guess. I don't know. Look at all these people hanging out here. 
It's like a Jurassic party. Let's see here. What do they want? I can't scan him from this far away. I gotta get closer. I wonder why we have to rescan him. That's weird. You usually don't have to do that. Oh, I thought it was gonna crash. How you doing, big buddy? We completed our check. We completed our check. Take photo. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that's it. What a jib. Run. Come on, we can get a better one than that. Oh, look at that beauty. I don't think we're going to make much, but we're starting to get... When you take the same pictures of dinosaurs over and over again, you get less and less money each time, so... Struggling with that one. How deep can we go with this thing? Pretty deep. Sweet. I love this Jeep. Oh, no crash. <laughs> Look out. All right, so we're going to go back here. We're going to build this thing that they want us to build. This is an exposition center. Basil exposition. Um, can we zoom out a little bit? Thank you. And I'm going to try to put it so that the front is at the front. No. Rotate there. Very good. And then we're going to connect the path. All right. And let's see. Things are being built. Progress. <laughs> are you guys having fun? I am. So this is the campaign mode. Once again, you can build the zoo, and you'll have to build all these buildings and stuff and grow your zoo. They probably give you different amounts of money. We'll take a look at that, too, maybe the next video. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. Okay, well, recruit new scientists. We have three available. She's probably the best bet. Because she's got several, like two different skill sets. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We Let's should assign that it. scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Okay, so assign a scientist to live oh, capture expedition. There? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except a, maybe a new recruit. Urgent message. Incident alert. Our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about dangerous dinosaur approximately public outskirts Las Vegas 2. Uh-oh. Oh, Las Vegas. Two injuries have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. Go. McLeod, do your job. Okay. Hang on a second, I gotta get the dogs in. Before the remote capture teams return, oh. we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. There's people walking by. Okay, so have an enclosure ready. We need to pause, I'll be right back. I have returned. Okay, so we are going to build, let's see, another pen over on this side. Let's go ahead and put a gate. There, and we're going to put fencing around. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. Okay, whatever. We already kind of know what they want. There we go. Fence is not electrified. I guess we need to put another uh, shizzle sticks. Wow. Okay. I'm not really ready, but give me two minutes. Power. There we go. Like the
There we go. Power is no longer an issue. Uh, we definitely need to put in some water because they will need water. Like I said before, all dinosaurs do. That might be too much. Okay. And we'll see what these dinos need to be happy. But in the meantime, we're going to go also put in our ranger station. Not the ranger. That's not a ranger station. It is the Let's Spy on the Dinosaurs facility. There we go. We'll make a pathway to that. And, um, I don't know how many of these things, the dino, how many of these types of things the, this guy can handle, but I'm going to add that task. How are we doing? This thing probably needs to be filled up. They don't, oh no, they give, yeah, they don't give you the whole thing, so 50% more fuel. There we go. So now, yeah, we're going to isolate them from other dinosaurs, obviously. So now we're just waiting. Um, how are these guys doing? Everybody still happy? Yep, content 100%. Good. Uh, so our stegosaurus are going to go over here. I think they kind of got gypped on land mass, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in. We're going to put them on here. Two, three. Transportation and I think these they need a bigger enclosure. I'm not happy with the enclosure size. Here they come. Uh, I need to demolish the middle fences. We'll get rid of these. And now we got one fence all the way around, which Asset is good. Give them a little bit more water. Delivery has been completed. There we go. So let's get our team, our Jeep team out there. Where are they? Oh, they're already here. Okay, well, let's do it. Add task, peep dinosaurs. This guy's missing ground for you. You can see already they're unhappy. So what we need to do is we need to get uh, some ground fruit in here. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Chris Pratt, Once superhero. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Only They're content. 93%. Oh! Oh, God. Don't kill my rangers. What are you doing? Drive faster, you moron. <laughs> He's blaring that country music. <laughs> hey, yeehaw! Don't worry about us. We, uh, we got it under control. <laughs> Might have lost the door or two, but we still got all the rangers intact. Rangers lead the way. Okay, take that thing home. Repair it. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> the Stegosaur almost had it for breakfast. I think it's so Russ. 98% comfort. 98% comfort. Okay, they're good. Stegosauruses are awesome. Look at those things. Oh, they like each other. They're friends. Oh, well, maybe not. Weather warning. Uh oh. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. <laughs> ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Get to shelter. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Run, boy scouts, there? run! Actually, the little scouts running away. Run away. No. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Run, Everybody children, run! Run! We've survived worse. Run! Don't you see what's happening? Panic! Did everyone get to safety? 
Oh God, here we go. While they're doing this, oh man. This is where you should have, oh, see, it's all locked up now, right? Response facility. You really should have two response facilities. Um, Well, you'd hate to take that chopper up in this weather. Hopefully it won't blow away. All the other animals passed out, so I think we're okay. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one, round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Yeah, then, good job. Is this good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. I think we'll be okay. So as the park grows, we'll have a second tran a second uh, station here. <laughs> what else is going to break? Yep, and then we're going to say we're going to look at these guys. Post one. Triceratops. Tears in progress. Post four. Ranger post four. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So we got both people assigned now. This guy's being transported. We can go ahead and close the emergency shelter. All right, everybody, come on back out. You're all safe. Look at that. We saved, literally saved the day. What a hero I am. Look at that cool Sikorsky. Why are Russian helicopters and stuff so cool? I'm trying to see it in here. Cool stuff. Ensure all the dinosaurs are safely enclosed. They are. We've already fixed all the gates. Happy dinosaurs. One thing we haven't done, we need to get our Jeep of Jeeps. Where's the closest Jeep? This guy. Direct control. Tell you what, I would want a little more acceleration in a Jeep that was working with dinosaurs. The 0 to 60 in 35 seconds is not a safe safe bet look at the size of that thing well if nothing else works out for you at least we know you're pretty good with that camera <laughs> thanks Welcome here to Jurassic World. Double Stegosaur. Look at that. Yeah. Stegosaur looking for water. Multiple dinosaur bonus. What? Come on. But I got a penalty. I could have made like 50,000 bucks. Oh, well. Wait, what are you doing in here? You're... They're not supposed to be in there. They're supposed to be in there. You go peep those dinosaurs out. You do that. Right. Okay, so let me look at this again. Uh, escape. Nope. Oh, incoming transmission. Oh, mission complete! Da-da-da-da! 
Da, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. That's not a convoluted title. Uh, I enjoyed playing it and I'm enjoying this game a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, but it is really good, actually. It's not a bad game, and, and it's a lot of fun, and, and uh, I like these missions. Looking forward to playing some Sandbox. We'll do that in the next episode, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little first look, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice up, and I'll see you next time. Bye!